Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of TV Time with Maggie. I know it's been a very long time, but between work, school, I barely have any time to watch television, let alone make videos, but I am back. For those of you who are new here, my name is Maggie. I talk everything Latinidad, representation, and women in television and film. If those things sound interesting to you, stick around. Please hit that subscribe button, that like button, share this video, and of course, follow me on Instagram for more Pink Leo content. Now, I've been watching a lot of things on repeat, a lot of my old favorites, but I'm excited for some new television coming this August. Now, by the time you're watching this, some of these shows may have premiered, but I'm very excited for Reservation Dogs on FX. The most exciting thing about this is that there's both Native Americans in front of the camera and behind the camera. Similarly to Islos Hyde, One Day at a Time, and Vida, it is very, very important and essential, I think, to have Latinos and people of color that are making television also be behind the camera as well as represented in front of the camera. Now with Reservation Dogs, I'm very excited to see these young Native American teens playing these very fantastical characters, these very kooky characters that are on their way to California. What I love about shows like this is that it gives them a space to be the authentic self and tell other stories besides the typical or stereotypical stories that are told about them. On Friday, August the 13th, Netflix is premiering its new limited series entitled Brand New Cherry Flavor. And I'm excited because the trailer looks super spooky, very interesting. It's about this young woman who's trying to make a movie and very typically in these kinds of scenarios, she, you know, you find someone who is trying to take advantage of this girl's dream. And this time around, she's prepared and she comes with supernatural forces who help her obtain revenge. And in the process, we may or may not see a shift and we may or may not agree with her tactics. And I'm very, very excited for um, this limited series. I haven't seen a really, or I haven't been hooked on any spooky, horror, witchy show in a very long time, so I'm hoping that this could be it. Now, also this August, we have two shows that I'm so excited for their return. One of them is Aquafina's Nora from Queens. I had that show on one of my list for Happy shows to watch during quarantine. If you guys haven't seen it, I would link the video down below. But it's such a relatable tale. I am definitely live with my parents still, and I relate a lot to the Nora character just trying to find my way. And it's basically a millennial tale, but with a lot of humor. It's extremely hilarious. It's on Comedy Central, and I'm very excited for it to be back. I was very worried that it won't have a, that it didn't have a second season because of COVID and everything has been delayed, but it's finally premiering this August. Finally, coming back for his final season, we have the show that could, is Brooklyn Nine-Nine with Melissa Fumero and Stephanie Beatriz, whom you can see on In the Heights on HBO Max, streaming now. And I love the show, I love these two characters, and I was worried that they won't come back. It was one of those shows that it was canceled and then it was returned and then it was it switched platforms and we didn't know what was going to happen to it and it's one of those underrated comedies i think the show doesn't get enough credit for how funny and uh, authentic the characters feel and even though it is very outlandish and it's very unrealistic at times it still has a lot of heart and i like the fact that all the characters some, some of them, of course, are caricatures, but I feel like they've all evolved some way, somehow. And I love how they get out of their shell and one of them pushes the other. It's really much a team effort at the 9-9. That's it for now, you guys, but thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. And let me know in the comments down below what show have you guys been watching this summer and which show are you guys most excited to watch?